Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes you notice that the denominators of the fractional exponents are not the same, but you may not need to find the lowest common denominator. So let's take a look at this example here and see if we can just work it out using our normal techniques. So first of all, when we multiply and the base are the same, we add exponents. So this becomes 2 to the 2 thirds plus 1 half. And then in the denominators, if we divide, we have to subtract exponents, so this becomes minus 3 halves and minus, oop, not 3 halves, that's a minus 3 half, can't make that mistake. Let's take that back here, so it would be the negative of a negative exponent, minus 3 halves, and then we subtract this exponent, which is also a negative exponent, negative 1 third. All right, let's simplify this and see what we get. This is 2 to the 2 thirds plus 1 half plus 3 halves and plus 1 third. And then we can add the fractions that have the same denominator. So this becomes uh, 2 thirds plus 1 third, which is 2 to the first power plus 1 half plus 3 halves, which is to the second power, or 2 cubed, which is equal to 8. So it turns out we did not have to find the lowest common denominator, and we could see that when we worked it out. All right, now taking a look at the second problem here. Notice in this case, all denominators are the same. We just have to use the rule that when we multiply, we add exponents. When we divide, we subtract exponents. So this will look as follows. 25 raised to the 1 half power plus a negative 3 halves and minus a negative 5 halves. So simplifying that, this is equal to 25, that would be 1 half minus 3 halves plus 5 halves, and the 1 minus 3 is a minus 2 plus 5 is a, uh, let's see here, that's 5, that's 2, that would be 3 halves, so this would be equal to 25 to the 3 halves power, which can be written as 25 to the 2 halves power plus um, or actually, yeah, plus one-half power, which is equal to 25 to the first power times 25 to the one-half power. And so this would be equal to 25 times 25 to the one-half power. That's like taking the square root of 25, which is 5. And 25 times 5 would be equal to 125 as the final result. So let's take a a recap of this, again, we use the rule where we add exponents when we're multiplying, subtract exponents when we're, when we're dividing. When we add all this up, we get a fractional exponent. We can separate that into a whole and a fraction, 25 to the first power times 25 to the one-half power, which is 25 times 25 to the one-half power is the same as the square root of 25. For example, this could be written as 25 times the square root of 25, same thing which is equal to 5, and then we simply multiply. And my wife just noticed that we can take this right here and think of it in a different way as well. 25 to the 3 halves power is equal to the square root of 25 to the third power, like this. Or you could write this as the square root of 25 to the third power. But if we think of it like this, if we take the square root of 25, this is equal to 5 to the third power, which is 125. So again, notice there's lots of different ways to get to the very same result. And that is how it's done.